Hello all, we are here to solve the previous year unit questions. So this question is from strength of form material. Here the question is assuming the material considered in each uh, statement is homogeneous, isotropic, linear elastic and the deformations are in the elastic range. Which one or more of the following statement or statement these are true now let us see one by one statement so here the first statement is a body subjected to hydrostatic pressure uh, it has no uh, shear stress so basically hydrostatic pressure means uh, if you take any element uh, let us say like this so it means In case of this hydrostatic pressure, what is going to happen is from all the direction, the same pressure is applied here from to in or what we can say perpendicular to this plane of screen. Also, we are having this uh, direction of this pressure, right? So if to consider this hydrostatic pressure then from all the direction it is acting and it is having the same magnitude right so if you uh, consider a plane uh, stress only you are considering this pi axial state of stress right and in that if you plot the Mohr cycle then what will happen in case of this hydrostatic pressure is a uh, pressure is sigma 1 is equal to sigma 2 is equal to sigma so if you plot on Mohr circle then it will be on the axis of this normal stress it will be a point because sigma 1 and sigma 2 both are same right so or rather sigma x and sigma y both are same so there will be a point right so there is no shear stress so this statement is true right now if you go for the second statement then a, a long uh, solid steel road is subjected to tensile load right so let us say this long uh, steel road is subjected to tensile load let, let us say this tensile load is applied and so what is going to happen is there will be change in the length right length will be increased and diameter will be little bit uh, decreased right so as uh, we can see but length is going to increase and diameter is going to decrease so in that case what is going to happen is uh, volume is going to increase little bit right so this is how the second statement is also true right now if you go for the third one that maximum shear stress theory is suitable for brittle material and this statement is false right because maximum shear stress theory is applicable to ductile material right well for this brittle materials maximum principal stress theory is applicable right, so this statement is false now if we see the last option if a portion of the beam has zero shear force then the corresponding portion of the elastic curve of the beam is always straight actually when this uh, shear force and bending moment both are zero in that case this beam is always straight so here also this statement is false and so uh, our answer will be a and b okay thank you Oh, 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 oh,